cover a really interesting topic on mistakes made by new traders in the financial markets. So the first mistake that you'll go through that most of the traders make when they join the financial markets is having unrealistic goals. I've met traders who want to trade from $10 to a million dollars. That is practically impossible. And you also know that that is not possible. So unrealistic goals whereby you start with $250, you want to multiply it to 1000 within a span of two weeks or a, a month. That is impossible. These are not goals that can be achieved in the markets. What can be achieved in the markets is you trade realistically, you have a realistic target so that you hit your target, then you set another challenge, hit the challenge, and you overcome the challenges as you build your skill and build your capital and succeed in the markets. So having unrealistic goals is one of the main mistakes that new traders make when they are trading the markets. Number two, and to add on that, is instant gratification. <clears throat> and if you know me, and if you know Kenneth, and if you know our team, we do not like this story about instant gratification. And basically, when we come to the financial markets, we're not talking about instant gratification. We're basically talking about a newbie trader who has just started trading the other day and wants to rush into the demo account and immediately wants to rush into the real account and wants to make, as Kenneth has said, a lot sum of money from a small um, account account size. That is really impossible. So when it comes to the financial markets, um, you need to understand the deferred gratification or delayed gratification that you need patience and time in order to become successful. So the third mistake that most of the traders make is over trading. And over trading comes in many ways. You can execute very many positions within a very short period of time. You can also over position size on the few positions that you execute. That all adds up to over trading. The simple thing that will end up after you over trade is you go through what is called the risk of ruin in the financial market. This means that all your capital is lost and you have nothing to trade left. So basically you're out of the markets and all your money is taken by the smart traders. So we call you dumb money and you're the smart money since you take your money in the markets. Yeah, number four and to summarize on that because we want to keep it short is using all indicators in your chart analysis. And basically this is a trap we all fell for because when you're learning and you're becoming a, a, a trader in the financial markets, you learn these new um, trading skills, these indicators, the MACD, stochastics, RSI, um, moving averages, Fibonacci, all that complicates your charts. So along the way we went filtering and using the main um, um, indicators that we see useful in the markets. So newbie traders, the mistake they fall for is putting all these other, um, indicators in their charts so that they can get an edge, which is really impossible in the financial markets. So those are, those are some of the greatest mistakes that you think that if you can avoid those mistakes, definitely you'll make some mistakes as you learn how to trade and you, as you build up your skill. But you try and tell people not to make the mistakes that will make them not survive in the markets. In fact, there was a book I was reading by Jim Collins that was saying, all successful people know that they'll make mistakes, but they try not to make mistakes that will make them not be able to come back or not to be able to go on with what they're doing. So in the markets, that is what I'll simply tell you. Try and avoid the risk of ruining the markets, and you'll definitely make money in the long run. Yeah, and just to summarize on that, our main goal here at Financial Hub and when we're teaching people is to preserve capital. So that's the main goal, not to blow your account, not to lose all your money. And this is something we felt for many times. Kenneth here lost all his money, I lost my money, our team, most people lost their money. And from that, we've learned from that. So as a newbie trader, learn these mistakes and try and avoid them as much as possible. So to add on that, be sure to watch our previous videos and our upcoming videos and subscribe in our channel below. Thank you guys for watching.